My name is Derek Locke and I'm the fertility specialist. We help people to achieve the dream and that dream is make of love. Uh, I grew up in China, uh, mainland China, so I, that's where I speak Mandarin. And then I went to high schools in Hong Kong, so I speak fluent Cantonese. And, and uh, my, my family is coming from different areas in China, so I understand a few dialects as well. And I get into obstetric and gynecology because I got a very inspiring um, professor. Uh, who actually came from Australia. So uh, that's the connections I get into the profession and then come here to do the research. And uh, I certainly enjoy every minute of it. My main interest is the reproductive surgery involving both male and females. And also complicated cases that's which I'm interested in, in trying to deal with people who have multiple treatment failures. I think there's two things that which guide me. One is that um, it don't do any harm. Okay, and that's the most important things. And second thing is that, that everything got an explanation. The technology allows us to explain many things that we, which previously unexplained, that people call, there's a, this big category of things called unexplained fertility. People may not realize it. You, got, you have to get so many things right before that right moment comes. So that makes it not only a medical problem, you also make it a very important psychological issue to deal with the patient as well. I think fertility uh, is a very private issue, so people don't want to talk about it. The trust between the doctors and the patient and the patient put on the, the, the doctors is probably most, one of the most important things. I specialize in male fertility. Invariably, people go to see the doctors, it's always the females go first. Okay, very often the male is the problem and we usually only find this out when the females has been gone through all these invas invasive tests unnecessarily. So if for example that we can build up a good relationship, we can help the patients to understand this kind of the issue, we can get the males to come through a little bit earlier and then we would uh, avoid a lot of unnecessary invasive, sometimes risky tests for the females. At the end of the day, that you help these people to achieve something that they really want and they're facing so much difficulties to, to obtain. And the, the best thing is that the, the patient bring their children back, their child back from the IVF for their second baby. And it's just amazing to see that kind of interactions to what, what actually happened in their journey. <laughs>